Well, here are the polar bears we mentioned earlier. Um, and, and Gore, uh, for once, actually cites a scientific paper. He cites it wrong, of course, but he does cite it. And what he says is, a scientific study shows, for the first time, they're finding polar bears that have drowned, swimming long distances to find the ass. Swimming long distances to find the ass. And so here is the actual uh, map from the paper. Four dead polar bears. ooh -er. golly gosh, shiver shiver. Hold the front page. And what have we got, in fact? Four dead polar bears. Did any of these polar bears, according to the paper he was quoting, die or because they were trying to find the ice, or I should say fanned the ice? No. They died because there was a big storm with high winds and high waves and they got swamped. Or as we scientists call it, shit happened. <laughs> so there's no basis at any point for Al Gore's story. It was complete fiction from start to finish. The scientific paper Lord Monckton cites does not say that the polar bears drowned because of a big storm. The paper suggests that the polar bears most likely drowned because there was less sea ice for them to seek refuge on because of climate change, and that the drowned polar bears could be statistically significant. The paper goes on to say... We further suggest that drowning-related deaths of polar bears may increase in the future if the observed trend of regression of pack ice and or longer open water periods continues. Lord Monckton is not one to let the facts stand in the way of a show.